Hello, penguins and friends. It's Sally. I have the Carnival of the Animals today. This piece is written by Camille Sansons. He's a French composer. He started learning piano at the age of three. Whoa! And he was able to wow audiences and really impress people and, and loved doing it. So he became a music student at the Paris Conservatory, which is a really famous school in France. He became a student there when he was 13, so a teenager, and he took up, started learning the pipe organ. And the pipe organ is a keyboard instrument. You press a key and it shoots air through a pipe, it makes this massive sound that you can hear in churches. He's really good at that too, but he decides, I want to be a composer. I want to write music for anything, orchestra, opera, small groups. This particular piece is for two pianos and orchestra and he wrote it because he wanted to write fun music. He was hoping to appeal to youth, and so now today a lot of um, orchestras will invite young performers to play with them, which is pretty cool. Um, today I want to read the introduction, and since it's a music book, listen for rhymes. You know that rhymes are words with similar ending sounds, so I'll read the introduction, written by Jack Perletsky. Illustrations by Mary Grand Pre. And then we'll listen to the music a little bit. Introduction. Welcome to our carnival, where birds and beasts and such behave a lot like people do, at times a bit too much. You'll meet the regal lion and the captivating swan the irritating donkeys that prattle on and on. You'll meet a tortoise and some fish with undulating thumbs. Welcome to our carnival. The music now begins. Did you hear some rhymes? Yeah. Begins, bends, on, swan, much, such. And then here, this is the, the curtain to the performance or the stage. And so who's peeking out? Hasn't started yet. Why is he peeking out? Elephant. And then maybe a hen I see here. And that could be a tail of a lion. What do you think? I'm not sure. And then who's who's following the rules? They're behind the curtain still. They haven't opened the curtain yet. The show hasn't started. Get back in there, elephant. But we see a donkey, the shadow of a donkey, and some fish, I think. So there are several movements to the piece. We'll just do one today. Which is, you see, don't you? The lion has its own poem. I'll read it. And again, listen for the rhymes. The lion. It's evident the lion is king, in charge of almost everything. Avoid the beast at any cost, for if you fail, then all is lost. If you should hear the lion cough, don't hesitate to hurry off. And if you hear his frightful roars, remove yourself to distant shores. The lordly lion longs to sup on living prey and chew it up. Oh, try not to fall within his sight, lest he dispatch you bite by bite. Besides his royal magnificence, the lion possesses common sense and manages to labor less than every lovely lioness. So you see that tail and the crown and oh, scary teeth. Okay, let's listen. And I want to draw it. You can dance around as a lion if you want, or stomp around. I'm going to draw it. What does a regal lion sound like? Played by two pianos and orchestra. Oh. Oh. It's building up energy, huh? That sounds regal. Stands tall, puffed up chest. So your strings with the melody. And the pianos are kind of interjecting, right? Oh, 
undulating pianos. Maybe he's lurking now. Little whisker spots where the whiskers come out. Do they listen for their prey? I think so. I'm gonna add ears. Ooh, nice piano duet. Ooh, now the strings are interjecting. Brown? Brown mean? I didn't get it done. I'll have to fill it out later. Color it brown mean, maybe a tan face, tan ears. If I left more room, I could have added a body and a tail, I suppose. But Friends, we mostly heard piano and strings. What about the woodwinds? What about the brass and the percussion? Hmm. Maybe he uses those families of the orchestra on the rest of the piece. Hmm. For another video, maybe. All right, thank you for drawing with me. Thank you for listening to the beginning of Carnival of the Animals, the lion movement, and reading the poems with me and hearing the rhymes. Okay, have a good day. Much love.